Hello everyone. All right, so let's get started. Uh, let me first introduce myself. My name is Yahya and I work at Advanced Media as a creative solutions engineer dedicated for the enterprise different solutions, especially uh, the solutions that come from DGI. And uh, here I have uh, my colleague Suhair. Suhair, if you'd like to introduce uh, yourself. Sure, I'm Suhair. I'm working as a computer vision developer at Dubai Technologies. Perfect, so we will run the presentation. Uh, but before, uh, as you know, uh, today is, I can describe it as a hot topic since uh, no one had ever below, b b before uh, covered that kind of topic that um, the different solutions for development from DJI, which is the uh, SDKs. Uh, so I think let's get started. Uh, but before, uh, Getting deep in the subject itself, uh, let's give some time to speak about our companies. So about Advanced Media, uh, this is a, a company established in 2002. Uh, the main focus one in funding solutions for the broadcasting, for the media equipment. And actually Advanced Media was one of the first companies in the Middle East to start finding uh, solutions and investing in uh, different uh, type of solutions related to uh, drones. And as well as an additional, we are an authorized distributor for DJI in the Middle East and North Africa. And we have a service center that uh, full of uh, professional engineers. Uh, ready to solve the different type of problems that comes from uh, any drone on, or any device from DJI. Uh, so, uh, Suher, if you'd like to just give us a brief introduction about Dubai Technologies. Uh, here you go. Yes, Dubai Technologies is an intelligent transportation solution company catering to transportation industries with a focus on smart city solutions, AI and IoT based sustainable mobility solutions. We have over 27 years of experience in developing Im and implementing smart solutions, specifically in the MENA region, and which has enabled us to enhance the Middle East transportation technology, and we become the pioneer in this field. We are specialized in the field of intelligent mobility solutions that make an excellent use of technologies, including artificial intelligence, machine learning, and big data-based cloud solutions and IoT technologies. Perfect. And DJI, the well-known company, uh, we should give some time as well to uh, describe the company itself. It uh, started at 2006. Uh, they was just in the basic uh, flight equipments like the flight controllers. Then in 2012, they uh, introduced us to the first flying kit. And 2013 was the turning point of DJI when they introduced the uh, first all-in-one photography uh, drone. And now in 2021, they have uh, a wide variation of different solutions in terms of enterprise, in terms of filming, in terms of agriculture, and uh, in terms of consumer. So today we are having an introduction about uh, the different types of uh, SDKs. Uh, so uh, I will start, as I started, I will start it with uh, the famous quote, uh, which it says, do not reinvent the wheel. So we see a lot of people, they are seeking in having an application with the drone. So they start with the first step, which is the building the drone itself. And we all know that it's not something easy to do, right? Uh, you have to do the study of the design of the drone. Uh, you have to do the study of the balancing, the design, how much weight it can take, and it will take a long time, it will take a lot of effort. So why not to jump and avoid the step one and jump directly to step two, which is the development itself. So we use the DJI drone body as the device and we start directly developing from this point. So DJI, uh, let, it, uh, let, let it very easy to do, which uh, by using the different type of SDKs, uh, like uh, the ones with uh, my colleague Suhair will explain about it in the next slides. So 
as I said, we have the design parameters, we have the platform, which is the body. Uh, we, we are not going to do anything with the body. We are going to develop starting from uh, this point. And we have the payload, which is uh, the uh, type of sensor or camera that you want to attach. There are, uh, are already uh, uh, existing payloads from DJI, from third party uh, so, uh, companies, and you can build your own payload. Uh, for the software, there is as well different type of softwares from DJI itself, from other third party like UGCS, like Sitop, and as well, you can build your own software. Uh, as my colleague in the next slides will uh, clarify on how to do such a steps. Um, we have to give the credit, of course, to the, this beast that we are going to focus on because um, a lot of different government entities and universities are investing on this drone. This is Mavic 300 RTK. Uh, actually, it comes with a lot of key features uh, like it can fly up to 15 kilometers thanks to the special uh, transmission system from DJI, which is the OcuSync. It has the omnidirectional, uh, omnidirectional uh, obstacle sensing. Uh, it has the ingress protection of 4.5 rating. It can fly in minus 20 to 50 uh, degree Celsius of uh, temperature. It has this lovely, uh, feature which is the hot swappable if you just want to uh, switch the batteries you don't have to turn off the drone you just uh, remove one battery pull the full one remove the other you will save a lot of time and of course it supports the rtk and the ppk for uh, the actual uh, the precise uh, positioning and the different type of sdks from dji the msdk psdk or sdk as well and it will fly with no payload up to 55 minutes okay let's move on uh, so here just uh, if you can give us a brief introduction about the different type of SDKs uh, what does it mean or SDK PSDK what we can do with uh, each of them so here we go please uh, I believe we will switch the places because uh, control the presentation all right sure now we'll discuss about the different software development kits that DJ is providing have you ever think about we can control a drone from either our mobile or from our own device yes it is possible by using DJI software development kits DJ is providing three types of software development kits one is onboard SDK or SDK another one is a payload SDK PSDK and another one is mobile software development kits MSDK Onboard SDK is like we are integrating our own device with the drones and we are connecting this device on top of the drone and we are controlling the drone by using this device. There is no remote controller. We can control all the flight operations like flight navigations, go right, go left, everything we can control from the onboard device. So this is called OSDK. So if we need to integrate or connect our own device to the drone, we can use OSDK. And second one is called PSDK, payload SDK. If we need to connect our own payload device, like maybe some drop hooks or some delivery options, maybe you need to develop your own payload device. In that case, you can use a PSDK. In PSDK, we are connecting our payload device with the drone as a payload device. As you know, maybe in latest drones like Metro Cities, we can connect some amount of payload, like in 300, you can connect a 2.7 kilogram of payloads. So if we need to develop our own payload device, we can develop our own application using payload software development kits. Mm -hmm. And other one is called mobile software development kits. Means if you are thinking about you need to control a drone from your mobile, then you can develop an application which will do the all functionalities like DJ already providing some mobile applications like DJ Pilot, DJ Go. So all these functionalities we can develop by using DJ mobile software. And so it kits. is compatible with Android, with iOS, uh, with Windows, right? Yes, yes. Mobile DJ is providing two types of software development kits. One is for Android and uh -huh. one is for iOS. Okay. If you are good in Android developments, like if you are good in Android Studio, or then you can use DJ Android software development kits. You can develop your own application that will run all Android device. Or if you are good in iOS develop, if you are good in the developments in program for iOS devices, you can use MSDK iOS package. Uh -huh. 
so the com in case of msdk the communications like we are connecting the mobile with a remote controller so if you are using mobile software development kits the your mobile should be connected with the remote controller so the connection either will be a usb connection nor or it will be a wi-fi connection so both remote controller and our mobile should be in same network or if you have option like we can connect our mobile device with remote controller using bluetooth it will be based on the which version of the drone you are using and if you are if you need to develop an application very fast like if you just need only need the guis then dji is providing one ux sdk there you just it's like a simple ui design you can sim only need to drag and drop the menus like they are already providing some widgets they are already providing the tabs and they are providing the drop down menus so you need to simply drag the menus drag the widgets your gui and you can easily develop your own mobile software and another software development kits that DJI is providing is like a payload SDK. In the payload SDK, maybe in some applications like you, if you are developing some delivery operation, if you are developing some uh, some shooting operation, maybe you can integrate your own camera or you can integrate your own delivery box with the drone. So for this operation, DJI is providing PSDK, payload software development kits. In case of payload software development kits, if you are integrating, DJ is providing two types of port. One is called sky port and another one is export. So by using this port, we can connect our payload device with the drones. So for the integration, DJ is providing a separate PSDK adapted board also. So for the PSDK developments, basically DJ is supporting for the Linux operating system. So if you are good in the Linux programming, you can use PSDK Linux OS. Or if, if you want to develop an application with using RTOS, real-time operating system, you can use PSDK RTOS. They are, DJ is providing a full support to the integrate RTOS program, uh, RTOS PSDK package with your program. RTOS is the real-time operating system, Yes, right? real-time operating system. We can, we, if maybe in, if we, you can use RTOS programming. So if you have some RTOS program, you can easily integrate PSDK stick artos package with your program yeah this is perfect yes if you are, if you need to develop your own application or if you have some research you have a lab maybe if for the fast developments dj is providing a separate development board with stm32 development board and they are providing a full support for the keel id so we can easily integrate the psdk with keel id we can start the developments so if you are interested to buy or if you are interested to develop with the development boards if you are buying the development board with export or skyport dj is providing an adapter board dj is providing the port so one side of the one side of the adapter board we will connect one side our payload device other side of the uh, this adapter board we will directly connect to the payload device so we can start the applications okay uh, i just want to comment comment here if you can go to the next slide sure. uh, i just want to mention as uh, i mentioned before th there is a lot of uh, successful stories from uh, other companies uh, who's working uh, with development for PSDK. Uh, for example, we have uh, Cytop, uh, it's a Chinese company. They are um, working uh, for, for finding different type of solutions. Like we have uh, here the dropping system, spotlight, speaker, and we have a, a lot of other third party companies who are working uh, in developing uh, different type of solutions for uh, the M300 itself. So, uh, this is, uh, I just want to mention it as a successful story. So uh, to encourage you and go and build your own application. So go ahead. Uh, okay, uh, so here, uh, we will speak now. Um, I believe you will give us a, a demonstration of how to do uh, a simple application of the OSDK. I, I think it's later, right? Yes, sure. Okay, maybe. this is perfect. Uh, if you yeah. can just move on. Sure. Next, we will discuss about the onboard software development kits. So, in case of on onboard software development kits, we are connecting a device on top of the drone, DJI drones. So, there is no need of the remote controller. They have some limitation, like if you are not using the remote controller, the device should be in, in between the 30 minutes. But in case of onboard SDK, we are connecting our device with the on top of drones. So, we are controlling all the flights operation from the onboard device. In, the, in case of onboard device, we can do all operation like what we are doing from a remote controller. So for the OSDK developments, DJ is providing for the support for Ubuntu 60.4. I know it's a very old Ubuntu version, but currently they are providing the support for Ubuntu 60.4. If you are building the OSDK with Ubuntu latest, Ubuntu 18 or Ubuntu 20, that we can do, but they have some limitation for the libraries. Also, the main requirement is like we only need the GCC compiler. So they are providing the Linux support for the C++ programming only. Or if you are good in the development in ROS programming, then you can use, there is a separate package for OSDK ROS package. So you can 
can use this version ROS OS DK package. You can simply integrate your existing robotic program or you can create a new new platform with ROS OS DK platform you can start. Also, DJ is providing for the OSTK development, DJ is providing a free RTOS support. So if you have a free RTOS program, if you are interested to develop a program with a free RTOS application, free RTOS programs, then they are providing a free RTOS package for the OSTK. So for the free RTOS package for OSTK, DJ is providing a separate development board, which is using a third, uh, STM32 based controllers. So this OSTK STM32 controller, you can easily integrate the Keel IDE and you can start the programming with OSTK for the with RTOS Keel, program. Keel IDE, this is a software. Software, right? Yeah, Keel ID is to to do the programming in STM32 based controllers. Uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah. So if you, if you are interested to develop onboard SDK, DJ before DJ provided two types of development boards. One is uh, Manifold 2C and another one is Manifold 2G, which is to develop uh, onboard device. If you if you need to develop uh, develop your own onboard by, by using a development board, you can either use Manifold 2G or Manifold 2C. Um, yeah, but we have to mention that it's uh, discontinued. Yes, right? currently it's discontinued, but maybe future they will come with a new device. Maybe, or you yeah. can how, we can use some alternative devices, either it's any Linux machine or by using a Jetson TX2. Currently, we, maybe we are developing, currently we are using OSDK with a Jetson TX2 development boards. So if you have a Jetson TX2 development board or Jetson any Jetson NAN or Jetson uh, yeah. Savior, you can use that as an on OSDK development board. And by using this Jetson, if you are using Jetson TX2, then maybe you can use some machine learning or a program with OSTK. It will handle it, right? Sure, sure. Yeah. If you are building the OSTK, you have option like you can enable it with the GPU program, mm -hmm. then they will do the open like, CV mm. computer vision programs Just, you can build. Like, like in case of the Raspberry Pi, yes. do you suggest uh, working in developing with Raspberry Pi with yes. the drone? Yes. Uh, like if it's heavy project, yeah, or but uh, for if you are using Raspberry Pi, we, that we know we have some limitation, like some memory some, limitation. Uh -huh. So, but for normal flying operation, we can do with Raspberry All Pi. Right, okay. If you need to do some detections or something, then uh, like if you want to include the computer vision or yes, recognition, yes. It's, that case it's better to use Jetson development uh -huh, boards. Okay, got it. Yeah, but DJ is providing the full support to use the Jetson development board also. And the main, the programming language currently DJ is supporting is like a C, C++ programming. So the full OSDK is by using a C, C++ programs. C or C++. Yeah, both uh -huh. we can use. Yeah. Okay. And if you are, if you need to develop, if you need to connect your device with the drones, DJ is providing an adapter board. This adapter board, you can connect it to the drones. So one side of the adapter board, you will connect to the aircraft. One other side of the adapter board, uh, this is we will get. Yeah, it's like a converter, like. Yeah, it's, a, it's an adapter board, it's converter. Uh -huh. To connect From our own board. Uh, okay. Yes, sure. To connect our device to the aircraft, our onboard device to the aircraft. So one side of the adapter board, you will connect to the Type C of the drone, and another side we will get an uh, integrate. I mean, extended I/O ports. Others, uh, and we have a zero to twenty-four volt DC voltage, and so one serial connection is there. So you will connect this serial connection with the adapter. Your device serial connection with the adapter board. With the adapter, okay. Yes. So then it will be can, directly connected to the drone itself. Yes, we are, we are putting the onboard device on top of the drone. So we can do all the controlling actions like flight operations or the missions, navigation operations, everything we can control from the drone instead of we are using the remote controller. Yeah, That's just, one advantage we are using the OSDK. And we have the different functionalities available with OSDKs. Like when we are buying a drone, we will get a maybe we will use some mobile device. If you are using an onboard software development kit OSDK, we can control the, all the flight operation from the onboard device. Also, we can do the all the camera operations, camera rotation, all motions we can do. As well as you know, we are if you are do, doing that, if you are connecting one camera with the drones, we can we have option like to do the zooming and all operation we can do from the onboard device. Also, if you are if you are using the drone, maybe some the delivery application, if you are using some mobile device, they have a separate option to interconnection between the MSDK, PSDK, and P uh -huh. OSDK. So it will be co all connected together? Yes, to they control. have separate APIs for the interconnection. Uh -huh, well. right. So that, that's very nice if maybe in some some condition, some application we will use all, all or some condition we will use some of the PSDKs. So they have good APIs for this interconnection also. And DJ in DJ drones, DJ have separate mission operations. We can do set up some mission operations like some waypoint navigation or it's a hold point mission. So in this mission operations, we only need to provide the GPS coordinates to the drone. And in each point, we will specify where the camera want to focus, uh -huh. what operations we, we so need to do in each You're adding operation. waypoints to the drone and the drone will follow these waypoints to do an action, right? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. We only need to provide the uh, locations of the each waypoints and simply give the API calls 
start mission. So drone will do all this process autonomously. So no need so, to control with the remote no, control. Yeah, yeah. This is another better, best, good feature available with OSD also. Perfect. So if you are using a Jetson TX2 like words, then in DJI OSDK, we have options, some advanced mission, like we can do some perception methods, or if you are connecting some lidars, we can, or if you are, if you need to develop some point cloud data, mm -hmm. then we can easily integrate with OSDK solutions. So this is the one feature with OSDK. This is the, the, how, the interconnection. Okay. Yes. Now, if you are starting to develop a software development kits, the one of the main thing is like you want you, you need to regis, register as a developer in the DJI developer site. So first you will you, you will give the your emails and everything. Then you need you need to sign up as a DJI developer. Create an account. Yes. Uh -huh. Then after creating an account, you need to select which SDK you need to develop. Either it be a mobile SDK, so you need to select which SDK you need to develop. Then they will provide you an app key and app ID. This app key and app ID you need to use in your applications. So that's why they will You'll copy paste only. Yes, right? just yeah. copy paste uh -huh. only. Then another thing is like you should you should have some drones like DJ. If you are using OSDK, currently they are supporting Matrix series for Matrix the development. Matrix 300, yeah. Yeah, but if you are developing some mobile SDK, they are providing. It's compatible with the other. Yes, version. like Mavic, uh, Mavic or Mini. Yeah, 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 then we can use. But if you are so first thing is like you need to register in the developer site. Then you need to select which develop which software you need to develop. Maybe it's a mobile device or it will be an OS onboard device. Okay. So you need to select that device or you need to connect that device with the drones. And another thing is like after registration, you will get an app ID and app that you need to use in our applications. It's like a verification. Yeah, from, it's like uh, a verification. Yeah. So first time when you are registering, first time you need to you need to connect your drone with a computer. It's a Windows computer. Then you need to use a DJ assistant, DJ tool. DJ assistant. Yeah. Yes. yeah. There you you need to log in with your this credentials that you created before. Then first at the first time they will verify your account with this app key and app ID. Mm -hmm. It's a one time process for the development process. One time process. Once you activated your drone, you can use for all the. All right. Process. So this is a mandatory step. Yes. Uh, after we do the verification, yes. we go to DJI Assistant. Yes. And uh, we can do uh, the the settings there, and it's only uh, one time. Uh, We'll do it for only one time, right? Yes, yes. Okay. So, uh, if you can show us uh, like um, uh, a really sample or simple example of uh, the steps that you just uh, mentioned sure. in uh, life, in action, like we can, uh, me and the other attendees, and understand better of about the steps that you are doing with the onboard. Uh, Development. Yeah, if if this all of the software development is are open, so we can download it from the GitHub. So if you downloaded the onboard SDK from the GitHub, you will get a folder like this. So here we just if you are good in the C C plus plus programming, you only need to build by using a simpler C make or make comments. So if you are builded with an onboard SDK, if you are builded, then you will get a. There are many sample applications we can test the flight operations. Here I will show you one application how to run a sample applications. Here we will test a simple sample application, how we can run a simple sample application by using an onboard SDK. These are the sample application DJ is providing in the DJ software development. This is already available, these codes are also available. So we can test all these sample applications in our laptop. I, I will simply run a simple sample application, how to run a uh, fly a drone. Turn on the motors, right? Yes. Right. So after registration, we will get this onboard SDK in our device. So we we can simply start running our sample application. So when we are running, we have in the DJI SDK, we have option like which action we need to do, like monitor takeoff or landing. It's a separate APS available to do the monitor takeoff or monitor landing. Mm -hmm. We are testing a monitor takeoff and landing. Uh, yeah. So now the motors are on. Yes. Uh, from, you just uh, hit yeah. the enter button, right? Yes. So this is very easy to integrate the OSDK to a, a Linux machine because we are after building the OSDK on a Linux machine, we are simply simply running a sample application. It's running, so it's easy to simply touch the application. Okay. Can you just uh, repeat this step? Uh, sure. Here we are running a flight control sample application in the DJI M300. So mm -hmm. here we are selecting a monitor takeoff and landing. So okay. I'm, I'm just giving the command to, uh, I'm just calling the API to run a monitor takeoff and landing. The API? Yes. 
yeah the drone the propellers are running now the drone will check the mo motors are running or not if it's not running now we are not connected to the propellers uh -huh. so that's why it's, it can't fly yeah yeah of yes. course but we, we need to a, remove the props huh? yes so this is the step simply if you are downloaded the onboard sdk you can simply run a sample application for all the sample applications the all codes are open source anyone with the github access they can download all from freely and they can test it's uh, on github it's yes. uh, of yeah yes dji you have a dji or sdk github there you can download all the source codes freely Oh, this is amazing. So uh, for the connection here, you're using the, uh, I believe the Raspberry Pi, right? Yes. Since it's a simple uh, example. Yes, yes. So we no. have the adapter, we have the uh, Raspberry Pi connected to the adapter and the adapter is connected to the drone directly, Yes, right? now here in this application means in this sample program, we, we connected Raspberry Pi as an onboard device. Mm -hmm. And for the, to connect an onboard device, we need a, we, there should be some two serial connections. So the two serial connection, we are connected to the OSDK adapter board. This adapter board connected to the drones. Yeah. So I'm accessing that Raspberry Pi as a VNC by using a, some remote uh, virtual desktops. So I'm accessing that desktop from my con my laptop. I'm j and I j just run remotely. The sample yeah. command. Uh -huh. That's all. Yeah, this is very nice. And I think, yeah, yeah, I believe it's, it's simple. It's not that, that uh, yeah, complicated it's, since yeah, it's if, open if, source. Sure. Uh, so you just have to bring the command, apply it on the uh, terminal and it will run, right? Yes. It's, if you are good in the program, you need some basic C, C++, you, you can test, you can run that. Yes, it's easy to integrate to any existing programs. This is perfect. Now I will show you what Dubai Technology is doing with the DJI drones. This is one of the examples that we have developed with D Dubai D uh, DJI Matrix 300. Where here we are using an onboard device as an Jetson Jet Jet TX2 board, mm -hmm. and here we are doing some uh, AI programming or some we are doing some machine learning technology. So here we are detecting the. I will show you some video how how we are, how we are doing the this uh, machine learning process in the DJI OSDK boards. Uh -huh. So this is. Um Face recognition? Yes, here we, here we are doing, here by, we connected uh, DJI cameras like um, uh, H20T. H20T, we connected uh -huh. H20T to the M M M Matrix 300. Then on, we are, by using the OSDK, we will get that feeds to the, our program. So on that feeds, we are doing some, we are using some trained networks by using machine learning. So on top of that, we are doing these detections. So if, if, are, if the camera is very near, we can even detect the face also. So we uh, are developing that so program. So you can like, uh, Recognize the face, recognize the the, the person. Persons, uh, yeah. Uh, same application we can use for the crowd monitoring also, where uh -huh. we can how number of the persons in a crowd that also we can. This do. is perfect. Yes. Another solution Dubai Technologies developed. Maybe this so application we can use for some law and law enhancement or the some police applications. Here we are doing the detecting the number of flights from the vehicles. So if someone need to monitor uh, an interjunction or some area, there we can do the detection, all the vehicle detection, number plate recognition, everything on top of the air. It's not like detected from a direct camera. We mm -hmm. are detecting all the operations on top of the layer, on top of the air. Also, we are doing the number plate recognition by using D. M, M, this M300 with H20T, H20T I have to mention that it have this uh, amazing camera, zooming camera, which is 230X uh, hybrid, uh, 23 of them uh, is optical zooming, so thank you H20T. <laughs> yes. Uh, actually, uh, sorry, sorry for interrupting, we have so, a question from uh, Vikram. Yes. He's saying that uh, you are using the Raspberry Pi yes. with OSDK. Yes. Uh, so I made it uh, clear like uh, before, if it's a simple application, yes. uh, we can use the Raspberry Pi, but yes. if it's heavy yeah. project, uh, it has some limitation. The Raspberry Pi has some limitation, so you need to upgrade to uh, um, another uh, microcomputer like the Jetson Nano, yes. right? Jetson TX2 or Jetson Nano. Yes. Yeah. yes. Uh, what was the... ML, the machine learning model or data reference for recognition? We, we, in this, our, our solutions, we are using YOLO for... Before, YOLO? Yes. Yeah. YOLO before the detection. Yeah, frame, frame, framework. Yes, library. machine learning, YOLO before we are using for the detection purpose. We made our own trained model and that we are using in our Yeah, solutions. so you can use uh, YOLO, you can use, uh, I think, yeah, open, is an open, open, open CV. You can use yeah, open it's a computer CV. It's a, we, we, we can download it from a GitHub, it's an open source. Uh -huh. So you, we can make our own trained models. And by in the if you are using the OSDK, we will simply get the feeds from the camera. So we are passing this feeds to the, our trained model, yeah, and we, yeah. can, we can easily detect the detect presence of the what output. we need. Okay. So it's yellow. All right, you may proceed. 
yes one of the i mean another solution that dubai technologies developed with metris 300 is like a automated surveying and mapping solution here we are using a djm 300 and we are using a h20t camera as well as we are using the csm radars here we can automate the surveying or mapping solution from a cloud solution like you just need to log into the web application and from there you can simply give the web points per drone want to go and then selecting the each points you need simply need to start the operations then drone will go to the each web points and he, he will do the, all the process autonomically we no need to control the drone from a remote controller so all the streams like uh, web point navigation streams as h20t h20t camera mm -hmm. streams as well as the h20t thermal camera streams yeah, so we can. are sending data to the server so this is the one, one of the another solution that dubai technology developed with dji ost and dji drones perfect Another solution Dubai, Dubai technology currently developing with DJI drone is like a delivery solution. So it's like a normal food delivery solution. So if, if, you, are, if you need something to book from uh, some food, like some food from nearest grocery, you can use our DJI delivery applications. So in this delivery application, you will select the what item you need to get from a nearest uh, shop. Then you will sell, simply select the item and just uh, book the order. Then our drone will go to the pickup location. It will be a predefined. All this solution will be based on the country regulation in Dubai they have some re predefined regulations to mm -hmm. fly the drones to do the drone for this delivery application so so drone will go to the pickup location where the authorized guy will come to the drone and he will put the load he will put the ordered product to the delivery box mm -hmm. and then after he will he will uh, just simply the command to start the operations so the drone will come to your lo nearest location it will be a predefined some pre-location it will come to near to you and in the mobile you can uh, maybe some security key will be there so you just ah, need to give verify. the security key yeah yeah, yeah. then the order, order will be delivered to you so this is another solution cut that Dubai technology currently developed Working. with DJI OSTK. DJ, here we are using both OSTK, MSDK, and PSDK. This is another solution that we developed with. So you're developing your own software as well? Yes, here okay. he, for this delivery we are using, we are developing our own payload device, our own mobile application, and our own onboard computer. Oh, yes, yeah, uh, it's still under developing, right? Yes, it's under uh -huh. we, are, we are waiting for the, the this some will, regulations. This will be a very nice example if it's, yes. hopefully it will be uh, successful. Yeah. Okay, um, so I believe uh, that's it. Uh, if you have, guys, any uh, hardware-related inquiries, you can send uh, us an email to info at amp.tv. And if you have any uh, software-related, you can directly send an email uh, to um, Dubai Technologies, info at dt.ae, right? Yes. And if you have some deep, technical uh, develop for development uh, the issues or something, you can directly send an email to uh, DJI developer teams. Um, uh, I'll be just, uh, let's do a question and answer session. If you guys have any question, uh, we are ready to answer you. So let's wait to see. Any questions, guys? Uh, John is asking, what is Dubai technology next plan for the drone application? Any plan for commercial use? Yes, as I told you, we have one solution like we are waiting for the government approvals. We are developing one drone delivery solutions where we are using all the OSSTK. So this delivery will be like what we are what we are ordering some food from some already ready-made some we have some food delivery application. Mm -hmm. So same like we are developing a drone delivery solution that will deliver whatever means it will be based on the regulation. So that will deliver the what you ordered from the application to near to you what uh -huh. the predefined locations all right this is uh very good um have you built any 
ROS with DJI SDK? Yes, we, we used it, we tested the DJI ROS packages. So we're, uh, same like some other robotic operating system, they are providing a full OS, a ROS OSDK package. So you simply need to start ROS launch application. So when we, based on our requirement, if you are starting the camera feeds, they are publishing the camera feeds as a topic. You simply need to subscribe, subscribe the topic and you can do all machine learning or uh -huh. all operations. So they have separate package for ROS, pack, ROS OSDK also. Uh, very good. Okay, let's give it some time to see if... Any other questions, guys? Uh, Okay, so um, if you would like to speak up, you can just um, uh, um, unmute yourself and just ask the questions directly. We can hear you. Uh, we have a question. Have you had any task with uh, cooperating drones? Sorry? Have you had any task with cooperating drones? Cooperating drones. Maybe they are thinking about autonomous drones. I think so. Maybe so for the if you are, if you are making some drones that un understand our voice mm -hmm. that, that 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 we can use, but we have, that we can develop by using this ROS OS uh -huh. that we not tested yet, but we can we can. Okay. So can you use the SDK for uh, the other accessories like DRTK or BS60, etc. Uh, do you mean to? Uh, I believe it's only uh, compatible with the drone, the, the body itself. So I, I'll have to double check for, for this question for the RTK or BS60 uh, if they have the uh, SDK compatibility. Um, yes, more than one drone is working together autonomously. Yeah. So have you uh, like? Give yeah, a yes, it's possible if you are, if you have your own onboard device in each drone, mm -hmm. you can control the drone from the server that we can do. Ah, it's, it's possible. All yes. Right. Okay. Sweet. Again, guys, if uh, someone would like to speak up, uh, just unmute yourself. And uh, we can hear you well. Um, how long will a high tech drone fly high and four can drones fly? Um, so the M300, it can go up to 15 kilometer in a clear environment. And with the new uh, update, the firmware update, uh, the drone can go uh, for a 1.5 kilometer as an altitude. Um, there's a question. I'm building the similar auto navigation application with DJI M300 and manifold uh, facing the SD card access issue. Have you faced any issue with the SD card before? No, I think if you are using some Raspberry Pi, then only we have the dependency with the Raspberry uh, He's SD using card. manifold. Yes, no, manifold. We are currently manifold is not. Uh, he yeah, has. That's why He's we are not lucky. using manifold. Um, uh, Vikram. If you're still facing this problem and you cannot like uh, find any solution, you can directly send an email to DJI development team. I believe it's in the slide, the last slide. Sharif, if you can just put it in the, uh, the, the one before. Ah, uh, so. Yes. So you can just uh, send an email for your technical issue to uh, DJI development support directly. They will. Uh, answer you instantly. Sure, sure, Vika. Okay. Let's wait for other questions. And as, as I said, now you can start with building your own applications. Thank you, DGI, for making it happen, for making, making it simple and easy to develop uh, your drone application. Uh, you can just 
as I said in the first, in the beginning, you can start from, now you can start from step two, which is the development um, step. So uh, we have a question, what the maximum payload uh, we can carry on M300 RTK? It can take up to 2.7 kilograms. The drone can take up to 2.7 kilograms and it will work perfect. Ah, we ha ah, I sorry, I just uh, didn't see. What does the drone do if the radio link fails? Uh, there is this um, feature in uh, DJI called um, uh, fail safe, I believe. Um, fail safe, right? Uh, so if the connection is lost, you can just, uh, from the settings, uh, decide what the drone will do. Uh, like return to the home point, land, hover, so there's three options you can choose from the settings. Yeah. Um, another question. Could you please say a couple of words about the difficulties and issues you face when developing drone delivery? Like what you're facing right now, any problems, any issues, any difficulties? No, it's uh, delivery operations similar like what we are developing some application with onboard SDK. So currently there is, uh, we don't have any op uh, any issues. Currently we don't have any issues, but the operation should be based on the, that country's regulations, rules and regulations. Uh, uh, no, the thing is we can do the delivery operation different method, like either it will uh, it will uh, deliver your product to the, your own home or it will deliver to the product to the predefined locations. So that will be based on the uh, some country rules and regulations. Currently we are not facing this product already uh, ready to release i mean mostly navigation and collusion detection with other drones building etc etc for this uh, issues nothing no because we, we have option in the remote control so we will get like nearby drones where the nearby drones are available but currently in api we don't have that much information so but to include this we we can we can do by using osdk mm -hmm. uh, do you have any document reference for the configuration of OSDK rows with Raspberry Pi and other hardware, uh, other DJI links? Y yes, in the DJI website, developer website, if you are registered as a yeah, developer, they will provide full information. Full Even information, I believe, yes, yeah. Yes, for separate, all, all OSDK separate, they have full information. Also, they have a good, very good support. If you are sending some mail to them, they will give you they some will response reply in 24 yeah. hours. That's yeah. very nice. Uh, Eric is asking about the Arduino. Is it compatible? We can use Arduino with the... I don't think so because in uh, normally what DJ is telling like they only need uh, some C++ GCC compiler only required but we not test. I don't think we can use Arduino. Since there is no operating system uh, in the Arduino itself, uh, yes. so I believe it's not possible. Yes, we yeah. test it. So... Any other questions? And um, we can plan, if you agree guys with us, we can plan to other webinars where we can focus. Uh, so here we can yes. focus, like uh, we can do, we can run a webinar for like the PSDK itself or the uh, OSDK itself. Sure. So we focus deeply on this kind of uh, subject. What do you think guys, if you agree, just write uh, something, something in the uh, chat box to make, it, make us excited of doing such, such a thing. Okay. I need to see the excitement of you guys. <laughs> Good idea, looking forward for it. And actually, um, we have an Instagram page is dedicated for um, drone solutions. Um, Sharif, can we add a link to our Instagram page just to make the people uh, uh, see it in the chat box? Is it easy or? Uh, we have a question. The ML model, the machine learning model is deployed on the TX2 or any cloud? TX2 only. Itself, yes. the, the board itself. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. 
would be great. This is amazing, guys. All right, we will run another webinar focusing on the uh, each type of sure. SDKs, and we will announce it uh, as soon as possible. Sure. Can we have the recording of this webinar? Sure, we will send you uh, the recording uh, by email. And uh, actually, we will uh, post it in our Instagram page as well. You can just give us a follow. It's drones.amt.tv. Uh, you have the link now in the chat box. You can just hit a follow and stay tuned for the next webinars. Sure, sure. We are here to support you guys and to spread the knowledge, of course. Uh, as I said before, uh, if any software question related, you can hit an inquiry email to uh, Dubai Technologies itself. Uh, anything related to the hardware, the body, the different payloads, you can send to Advanced Media. All right, guys, I believe um, there's no other questions. Well, let's give it for one minute. Let's wait for one minute. Very informative session. Thank you, Eric. Thank you for joining. Thank you, guys, all of you. Give it one minute. Thank you. Thank you, Johnny. All right, 15 seconds. Any other questions? Okay, thank you again for joining. See you in the next incoming webinars. We will announce it uh, so uh, in our social media platforms. So thank you for joining and stay safe. See you soon. Bye-bye.